Hello and welcome back to HCS Weekly. I thought, yo, this is my life. I have to go pro in Halo. In my head, thought that that was more efficient, and I guess I was right. He was like the god. We would have to two v one, like just to beat this guy. Like, <laughs> I don't know, man. I'll try to reach you. You're like, oh, see you guys later. A lot of Halo in my life, man. It's been a, it's been a fun journey. I love it. Hello, and welcome back to HCS Weekly, your weekly destination for news, trick jumps, and interviews. And of course, I'm your host, Shyway. About a week ago, we had our Red Bull Rise Till Dawn tournament, a 2v2 that had our players staying up all night long until the next morning. And I'm excited to bring the champions onto that show today. We've got Trippy and Penguin coming up. But before we get there, we've got our news, we've got our trick jump, we also have our giveaway. Type in exclamation mark grassroots in the chat. You can enter yourself in that grassroots skin and BR nameplate and BR skin giveaway. Remember, guys, we got one each week. So come back next week and type that exclamation mark grassroots in for your chance once again. Let's get right into the news with Maddie Rums from doomcombo.com. How's it going, Maddie? Hey, what's up, dude? Not much, man. Uh, we've got news this week. You've got no house trouble this week. You're doing okay. No background noise. Apparently, no, you got like, no house sleep trouble. Last night. House no? trouble, but uh, yeah. Broke my back door. Broke your back. Oh, that's not fun. What yeah, rock, a rock hit it when I was cutting the grass. Oh my! God. <laughs> and shattered the glass. So that's like that. You remember that? I don't know if you saw the Final Destination movie where there's that wild death where he's like uh, lawn mowing and then the rock gets caught and it like hits somebody in like the face or something. They die. I can't remember. I mean, that, that very well could have happened, but <laughs> it was my door instead of a person. Was, thank God. It shattered your door. Damn. Um. Well, uh, whether or not you got a door, we still got some uh, MCC playlist updates to talk about. So what's uh, what's the first thing on on the board here? Yeah. So uh, last week I mentioned that uh, they were putting in the Halo 3 Ranked Team Slayer playlist, right. which they have done. Uh, and with that, they were experimenting with partial team matchmaking. Which I we like this. About. Yeah, yeah, so you've got some some equations here. Well, not really, but... Well, uh, yeah, they, they <laughs> broke it down. Matches. Yeah. Yeah, they broke it down. So a team of four will match against team of four. Uh, groups of three or solo will also match against teams of four. Four groups of two will match against each other. But if you're in a group of four, you won't match against two pairs of two. Mm. Or also a group of four versus four solos, you won't match against. So just a little more, uh, I guess, of a breakdown of what they meant by that, because I guess some people were confused. Right. So balance-wise, I mean, that's pretty good. You either match a team of four or you match a team of three plus one. If that's going to add more time to our matchmaking cues, that's the only kind of worry there. Yeah, but I'm sure balancing-wise... I mean, it looks great. It would make sense going on into MCC PC or the following Halo game. We have a large audience as well. So uh, I guess all good prep work. Good to see. Uh, we have another Halo 5 2v2, which I'm pretty excited about. Tell me about this. Yeah, UGC announced last week that uh, they're adding a 2v2 to the Halo Classic in Atlantic City. It's a $5,000 prize pool with uh, $80 team passes, which is two team passes and three-day access to the event. So awesome. pretty awesome. Yeah, and I mean, this is coming hot off of the Face It Halo 5 2v2 that we'll have, so that'll set a precedent. I'm sure that'll be very yeah. exciting, and then we have, you know, whoever went from there will continue to practice and put themselves into the uh, Atlantic City 2v2. So good to see a little Halo 5 continuing as we also have our Halo 3 tournaments and then eventually Halo Reach as well, so a lot of uh, different Halo games to get excited about and keep up with. Uh, we have our tournament results. Speaking of tournaments, what do we got here? Yeah, over the weekend we had the Face It online qualifiers for Ignite. Uh, the NA one, they had some problems with the website, so they ended up just stopping it after like two matches. Oh, no. But there were only, I think, 16 teams registered. Okay. So they're just moving all 16 teams on to this weekend's tournament to compete in bracket play. But for the EU region, uh, first place went to Moses is a Clown, which was Hollers, Respectful, Moes, and Random Four Man. Okay. Second place was Aspire which was Jimbo, Riots, Flux, and Two Foxy. Yep. And third place went to Mazer Gaming, which was Flames, Havoc, Fusion, and So Snakey. Awesome. And those uh, Face It qualifiers will continue, leading into the actual Face It tournament that's coming up later this summer. So the big one to be excited about. Uh, yeah, the top 16 from, uh, from the EU, from pool play, will move on to bracket play. Okay. This Perfect. weekend. Perfect. Um, we also have the Halo 3 Community Random 2v2 Invitational Results. That actually just happened last weekend, I believe. Yeah, and they had a, Sunday, I believe. Right. A 2v2 tournament where they they took a, a pool of amateur, I guess high amateur and pro players, and matched yeah. them together randomly, and you have the results from that. 
Yeah, first place went to Sabinator and Tusk. Uh, second place was Respectful and Fantasy. Third place was Guntype and Gabriel. And if you look at the bracket, they they named the teams after all animals. So uh, that's why on my graphic on the website, you'll see some animal names next to uh, the teams. But okay, that just explains that. If uh, anyone wondering why it says like squirrels and cheetahs and stuff. Right, you mean on newcombo.com, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right, where you can get all this information. By the way, guys, if there's anything that you want more clarification on, uh, we have the Halo Draft League Season 2 playoff results as well. This was fun to cast. I was casting it over the weekend. Tell me a bit about this. Yeah, so Season 2 ends. It's a Halo 5 league where uh, captains are chosen and players are drafted. Uh, the playoffs happened. So first place went to FTP, which was... I was a little confused by the rosters because there was more than four players, but then they said that... Since they had so many players, they expanded, I guess, for like bench players and stuff. Yeah. So the actual roster was Bastion, Two Sick, Exodus, and I think it was, it was he wasn't in this, like not in the options that you gave me. I think it was. Well, I know that in, in the actual tournament they had subs. Right. Exactly. But I, I asked them for a list of rosters, so that's where I came up. But okay. yeah, I had Bastion, Two Sick, Mop the Clutch, Exodus, and By Chobo. Okay. And then uh, second place team was your bi week Gold Star, BR, Pyretic, Condor, Barbie Boy, and Guitar Hero Dude. And then right. third place was Wasted Potential, which was DS Psychedelic, Olic JK, Swish Fives, uh, Lech, Leche, and Turtles. Turtles, yeah. Uh, and then we have our events this week, of course, coming up on the weekend. Yeah, like I mentioned before, Saturday you have the Face to Ignite uh, second part two of the online qualifiers for NA and EU. And then Sunday we have the first ever Halo 3 SWAT Nation tournament called Once Upon a SWAT. That's a 2v2. Right, $1,000 2v2 SWAT yep. tournament coming up with uh, SWAT Nation as well. So a lot of great events to look forward to, more qualifiers, and then eventually the Face It tournament will kick off, and I'm sure everybody's excited for that. Remember, guys, you can go to noobcombo.com for all the information we just talked about. And Maddie, thank you once again for joining me. Anytime. Problem. See you around, dude. Later. And that gives our news for the show so far. We've also got our trick jump segment. Let's bring on Clearly Me. How's it going, Clearly? It's going pretty good, man. How are you doing? Good, man. Excited for your uh, weekly trick jumps. What do you got for me this week? Ho hopefully this week's <laughs> is the correct clip, because I remember last time we had a bit of a, like a segue to a different clip, and then we got yeah. the original, but uh, what do we got this time? Oh, well, we got something on Guardian. Um, it is, it's barely a jump, honestly. It's just a spot that's not utilized as often as I believe it should be. Interesting, okay. Um, it is on elbow, um, but just standing right here on the railing, you can kind of grind up that slope and get Definitely up on top of the seen. door. Yeah. Um, and I, I believe it's entirely useful, and I, I just feel like I don't see enough people do it, but I end up getting a pretty good triple here <clears throat> using this clip um, and choked on the over. We'll see right, here so in a sec. This is why we're here. Boom. And, oh, <laughs> and they got it in slow mode, uh, yeah. too. That's not what you want to see. <laughs> uh, yeah, I hit him right in the shoulder. But yeah, if you're jumping off this railing, you can hold crouch on that slope there. Yep. And um, it kind of picks up your momentum to reach the top of the door. Right. If you just try to jump simply from the railing to the top where I'm standing, eventually, um, you don't have enough height. You need to hit that slope. Um, yep. As you can see, it kind of picks me up there. Of course. Um, but yeah. It's, a, it's extremely useful. Anybody can do this. doesn't take any crazy knowledge on the physics of the game to really uh, comprehend this. But just jumping and uh, holding crouch on that slope, smacking it, and it will carry your momentum upwards. Right. Um, but yeah, it works out good, as you can see. <laughs> yeah. I mean, man, exactly what I was going to say. It's simple yet effective. And, and those are the best mm -hmm. kinds of jumps, the ones that you can get into, like really crucial spots. And then they're very effective. Mm -hmm. They work out later on in the game. Uh, and awesome, man. Thank you so much for that jump, of course. Yeah. And we've got a trick jump community associated as well. All the places people can go to to get involved with trick jumps. Let us know. Yeah. Um, so all my clips, uh, montages, tutorials, things of that nature, you can find on uh, at MCC Trick Jumps on Twitter, also on YouTube. Um, I also have a Discord server completely dedicated to the uh, trick jumping community. So people who want to uh, further expand their map awareness and just the overall understanding of the physics of the game that they love so much. Um, I got a lot of people on the server who are completely dedicated to helping people as much as I am and um, are just as knowledgeable. So it's a great place to be um, if you're into this type of stuff. Um, and if you aren't, give it a shot. I will be... Um, 
uh, throwing up links at the end of my segment on Mixer and on Twitch. Um, so more than welcome to join if you guys like to. Um, also on my Twitter, um, I posted a recent video of a compilation of little jumps and stuff that I found on Onslaught. Okay. Um, a lot of them um, I'm sure people have known about for a while. Um, I know that I have, but I, I spent a couple hours on Onslaught the other day and found some pretty uh, pretty unique stuff. I feel like that would that could be utilized as well. So um, if you, if that seems like something you guys would be interested in, go in and check it out on my Twitter, which is that MCC Trick Jumps. Awesome. So awesome, like trick jumps, places to do trick jumps. You've got the Discord community, you've got uh, Twitter, just a great way to get involved. And of course, trick jumps will continue, hopefully going on into Halo Infinite with an entirely new engine. Might need a whole new style of gameplay, might have to come from that, or just where we find our trick jumps. So it's going to be pretty exciting seeing how that all plays out when Halo Infinite arrives. But cool. thank you clearly for joining me once again, and I will see you around, man. I'll see you, man. Thank you. No problem. All right, that closes our news and our trick jumps. I'm excited to bring in the champions of Red Bull Rise Till Dawn, Penguin and Trippy. How's it going, guys? All right. What is up? up? Now, how you guys been? Because you just won Red Bull Rise Till Dawn. You must be feeling pretty good. I mean, you got these giant trophies. Was this like your first big win? Like, how do you guys feel you've been celebrating? Oh, man, it's speaking for myself, it feels pretty amazing. I think that's, I mean, even coming from other. I'm hearing from other pro players. It's like one of the coolest trophies that they've, yeah. they've ever seen before, ever. Hey. And uh, to, to win that and uh, have a trophy like that is pretty, pretty cool. So, you know, right now I'm still feeling on top of the world. It feels great. For oh, sure. Yeah. Anyway, uh, how you doing? Physically, I feel terrible because I'm sick. But <laughs> confidence, <laughs> confidence is like through the roof now. Yeah. Well, I got the coolest trophies in like all of Halo that I've seen. And then also on top of that, we got to beat a lot of good competition in uh -huh. our bracket along the way. Mm -hmm. So that made it even more memorable i guess yep. hell yeah I, I was wondering they're nice trophies where'd you guys put them uh, i had a photo on twitter of penguins has it secured in his oh, yeah. car seat. uh if we can get that photo up tony hopefully uh we got that somewhere uh Gosh. in the meantime trippy where's yours mine's right next to me right here literally on my what desk what right here me? where's that Literally right. Can you guys see that? Is that a good, or good? Or Hell yeah, we got it. I was gonna say, don't yep. move your OBS or anything; it just screws up everything. But yep. this is it right here. What's it made of? Is it heavy? It looks heavy. It's, it's literally heavy. like twenty-five pounds. Like Holy not even shit. joking. It's like just metal, just straight metal. Just straight metal, just made of fully a metal. It's, it's pretty. Heavy. It's a weapon. And it's uh, it's made. Literally, of like a, you can later. Spartan charge with this thing, bro. Like, <laughs> Why would you like, say that? Literally, sprint. We're five minutes Spartan into the show, charging. and you're saying sprint Spartan charge. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we didn't win a Halo Five tournament, dude. Halo I know, three. dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's, there's penguins. He's got it in the car seat. Penguin, what'd you do with yours? Uh, mine right now is honestly just sitting on the floor, but I'm gonna <laughs> give it to my dad so that I have to go win another one for myself. Right, right, yeah. right. <laughs> okay. Uh, now. We also, uh, so what I do typically with these uh, interviews, I start by scrolling through your guys' Twitter and just kind of pulling stuff that I think is pretty cool. Uh, we're going to start with Penguin. Uh, Penguin, oh, first yes. off, clipped uh, on the top of your Twitter, you've got an old Halo 5 clip. It's still pretty badass, so we're going to play that up. Let's play it with audio, Tony. Double. And that's a triple. Oh, good shoot. Damn, you're good. Oh, it's a clean sweep. Uh, yeah, I got peeled. <laughs> <laughs> no, as soon as I got sniped, I, I was I was amazed when he sniped me. And then he hit those two snipes after that, and I was just like, wait, what just happened to our team? Like, yeah. we literally got obliterated by the sniper. <laughs> It was pretty wild. <laughs> Anyways, is that that's an instant clip that I'm assuming you're uh, how would you feel about that one? Uh well Sub Zero is a sick beast. I mean, how are you not gonna get a shot like that? The shot on Snake Bite just looks insane because nobody really like whips it like that in Halo right. Five. Right. Looks so right. weird. It's like PC esque or something. It's just very fast, yeah. Um so I was wondering, uh, because you just demolished those guys, does that have anything to do with the how to win Coliseum starter pack, which is something you post as well? <laughs> Uh, let's let's show that. This is oh it right here. You had gosh. a sniper. I don't think you had a carbine. You had a magnum. And then we got hoaxer. And uh, we got what's the what's this it's supposed to be? Muscle? Or something? So, elbow. Uh, elbow. Dude, it's elbow. <laughs> it's elbow. You got to hold elbow. So hoax is like philosophy oh. in matchmaking coliseum. Oh you get the gosh. carbine. You get the sniper. You just hold elbows the entire game. All literally. It's, it's like an favorite gun. Chip. I, I matched him yesterday like three times last night. And he, every time I killed him in Halo Three, he had a carbine in his hand every oh. single time. 
It's the so funny. Is, Carbine's bad in Halo 3, though, but it beams in Halo 5. Oh, yeah. Used to be even stronger till the Literally, end just, it. just his gun, man. Manuel's yeah. gun. It's an inside joke. It's just like, yeah. Emmanuel always has the carbine, and he's always on elbow. Even when you match him, he does the same thing against pros, <laughs> amateurs, bad kids, good kids. Right. Same thing every time. Yeah. Yeah, but truthfully, though, elbow, I think, is the best place to control on that map because then it gives you that opening, right? You get there first, and you hold that down. You can see through all the spawns and uh, and just kind of force them into different places in the map. So, all right. uh, so the other thing I wanted to point out, it's hard to ignore on your Twitter, is just all the relationship goals, man. Uh, if you guys don't already know, Penguin has – Penguin's Halo duo is trippy, but his real-life duo <laughs> – Real-life duo. Lydia. Uh, the emo and, goddess. And, the emo goddess. Right. She makes amazing emotes. You guys look like a total oh power my couple. God, uh, she made some for me as well, but is she a big support for you and your Halo crew? Tell me a bit about this. Oh, uh, she's a big supporter. She watches all my games all the time. Even when I don't tell her they're on, she like goes out of her way to find them. She's always telling me to like grind and play and everything. So she's great. Holy crap, dude. It literally is relationship goals, and you guys aren't afraid to show it. Like if I, I was going to show other stuff, but there's, there's some uh, some mushy tweets on there. Go for it. Feel free <laughs> oh, to <yeah>. yeah. <laughs> It's nice to see. Uh, Trippy, uh, I'm going to move on to you now. First off, you've got a sick montage coming up from the yes, looks of, and I people do. are very excited about it. it has over three thousand likes on Twitter. We're mm -hmm. gonna play it up in the background, unfortunately without audio, mainly because yeah. it's just copyright. But yeah. uh, the, the audio is sick too. Uh, tell me a bit about this. Is this your first ever montage? What kind of yeah. clip can we expect from this? Um, yeah, this is my first ever montage. Uh, I was always looking for an editor, and uh, I was watching. I remember coming on here like this HTS Weekly show like a couple weeks ago. I was watching Sand. He was on the show. Nice. And he was talking about how he was uploading like content constantly, and that's something kind of like what I, I was trying to trying to do the same thing. So I hit up Tommy, and I was looking for an editor, and uh, I ended up coming across this guy named Bump. I guess this is his editor yep. that he uses. Yep. And uh, we became friends, and he's like, "Yeah, dude, like, let's send me some clips. Let's make, some, let's do something." And you know, I ended up ended up sending him some clips, and it, we're in the process of doing it right now. But yeah, I've never done a never uh, have made into montage before. It's my first one ever, so. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be really fun. I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be a good one for sure. That's yeah. awesome. Mm -hmm. What what kind of clips though? We got like these are against pro players from tournaments. Uh, oh yeah, making. I mean it's just like a little mini Taj. So yeah. I'm gonna have like some two v two clips in there, um, four v four clips, matchmaking, just pretty much everything. Yeah, nothing no, nothing specific. Pros, matchmaking, two v two, just a little bit of everything for sure. Nice. Looking forward to it, man. I, I made a tweet saying uh, this is some break worth, breakdown worthy breakdown content, worthy content. Coming, yeah. uh, coming our way. I'm looking forward to it, man. Uh, yeah. it's the other thing I that we can't ignore, everybody's talking about it on Twitch every time they see you on the live stream, is you've gone through a massive transformation. Man, uh, yes. could we show the original photo of you, Tony? Yes. I think we have the original photo compared to the new one. And uh, not to call you. Uh, oh the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, hey, it's it's hey. facts though, you know. It, you know, well, a, a lot of us had our fluffy, phase in high school. Fluffy, and, yeah, you know? <laughs> let's call it fluffy. You know, man. What? No, happened yeah. To, uh, I mean, working out. I just, I just, yeah, I just, I just hit a point in my life where I was just tired of the way I felt physically and mentally, and just I was over it. So uh, ended up grinding in the gym. I still, I mean, like it was like two years this coming up this Christmas where I was just like, all right. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna change my diet. I'm gonna go full for full send, you know. And uh, yeah, it's been working out. I've lost over like 90 pounds in total, I think. Wow. And uh, kept it off. Put put on some muscle, and yeah, I feel great. It's it's been the best thing I've ever done for sure. I'm still uh, just yeah. bulking up, dog. <laughs> see you. I'll see you in Atlantic City. <laughs> see you there, Let's bub. Bulking, okay, yeah. man. Uh, so you actually, you've been flexing a bit on Twitter too. Can we get that, that flex post, Tony? Look at this. Oh no. Oh, no, we, just, we got no, it frozen. Geez. It's a video guys. It's a, he shows the tricep and then the bicep. It goes. Oh back. yeah. <laughs> I know. So, uh, I had to show those gains. I just, you know, I was so happy. I just had to. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I was mean, so happy with my progress. So I thought I could give some people some inspiration if they're trying to do something, you know? Like yeah. you're eating well too. I know you got pictures of food and stuff, but like, oh, yeah. was this something you had like identified goals for in the beginning, or did you just start try to? Like, I kind of just, I kind of learned as I went. Okay. Um, because I was a really, I was a total noob at the gym starting right. out. Um, didn't really know what the like, what were good foods, like good carbs, good fats, good uh, good proteins, and all that stuff that you need to know if you're trying to actually lose weight and see yeah. big results. Um, so kind of just learned that as I went and. Uh, yeah, it's like it's like a total lifestyle change now. I mean, yeah. I like certain things I eat in the morning, pre-workout, post-workout. Um, I make uh, I pretty much have I make my own omelet every day after I work out. Uh, 
That's, yeah, I just, the total lifestyle change has been awesome for sure. That's awesome. Do you think it affects yeah. your Halo gameplay in any way as well? Like, do you feel healthier? Or just oh, kind of I, better I, yeah, it makes me play. Makes me. I think it makes me a better player for sure because I just feel wow. better. My body feels better. Um, yeah, I was talking about this with like my buddy like a couple weeks ago. Like yeah. back when I was overweight and just didn't feel really good, I probably honestly played worse. I feel like being healthy definitely helps. Interesting. Um, just for my POV. I mean, just my opinion. I um, mean, yeah. I just yeah. feel better overall just when I'm playing, and it just feels great. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, apart from like picking up the ladies and stuff, I feel like that's why you have like your freakazoids and your uh, phase sensor and whatnot. Like oh, yeah. they're, you know, they're healthy guys. They play well in the games too. Oh, then yeah. again, I, I'm pretty sure uh, sensor kind of fell off. But anyway, that's yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, yeah, he's wild, after, after dumping yeah. the girlfriend for the games, he kind of fell. Yeah. Anyway, not going <laughs> to. Uh, <laughs> so uh, let's talk about you got your guys' careers a little bit because today you're the champions of Red Bull Rise Till Dawn, but not too long ago you had just entered the scene, quickly rising from nobodies to star performers on top teams throughout Halo 5's lifespan. But where did it all begin for both of you? How did you guys first get into Halo? Let's start with Trippy. Uh, I first started playing Halo back in 2009. Uh, I had a buddy who owned the Xbox 360 right out the gate. Okay. And uh, right after school, I'd go to his house and he'd have Halo 3 there. You know, just you'd be playing, just matchmaking. I was a total noob. But yeah, that's when I started, like 2009. I uh, went to my friend's house, fell in love with Halo, uh, begged my parents to get a 360. Uh, and I still remember my first game ever, ever, Halo 3. It was, it was Social Slayer on Valhalla. And I got like 20 kills. I still remember that. Yeah, it was my fr- yeah. Long time ago, but yeah. When he um, kills your first game, you're. I think so. I was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what hey, is but... the controller like? How does it work? Twenty kills later. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, 2009 is when I started. I was really young and just grinded for sure. Yeah. Halo three. I mean, Halo three was the best time to play Halo. Oh, it was Halo I mean, 2009, man. Say, it was. Yeah. It, it was a whole nother level. 2008 to 2010, grinding. bro. Just grind. <laughs> it was. It was so much fun, man. Like those yeah. years. How old are you now? How old were you then? I'm, right? tw- I'm 21 now, so I was, yeah, 10 years. I was 11, 11 or 12. Okay, okay. Yeah. Awesome. Really, really young. Yeah. Penguin, what about you? <laughs> I mean, kind of similar. I started playing Halo 3, like, late 2007, like Christmas of 2007. I think I played Halo 3 up until the end of Reach. And then me, I was one of the kids who, like, even though the game kind of died off during Halo 4, because Halo 4 was Halo 4, like, I kept grinding the entire time, just hoping one day, because I knew about MLG and everything, and I was like, I want to do that for Halo. I didn't want to play any other game. So even, like, during Halo 4, I was just grinding Halo 4, even though Halo 4 was trash. I was grinding H2A, even though H2A was broken. Like, I was just, I just kept playing the entire time for, like, 10 years, and then finally it paid off with Halo 5, having yeah. tournaments and all that stuff. So. Do, you, uh, do you remember your first game, too? Was it Valhalla? <laughs> yeah, did you drop 20 uh, kills? Did you drop 20 kills? Game. I don't know my first game, but the earliest game I can remember is a Pit TS 2v2 that I played with my oldest brother, and he gave me so much crap for us losing, even though I went like plus six, and he stuck me in the back and betrayed me, and we only lost wow. by two. <laughs> oh, Did man. your brother have anything to do with you getting into Halo? Uh, I have three other brothers, and oh. we all just like love to play like games, and I think we got Halo 3 for the 360, and we just all started grinding it, and I think I played way more than anyone else. Right. <laughs> So, as far as your competitive career, let's find out when that kind of transfer happened. Penguin, I'll start with you, but uh, so I believe you started a little earlier than Trippy towards the end of Halo 2 anniversary. You had this top 24 finish at HCS Indianapolis before kicking off Halo 5 strong on Noble Esports with Contra, Rain, Filthy G, later swapping out Contra and Filthy G with Calm and Swift Kill. That roster then became Elevate with a top four finish at World. So you're already getting top four in the first Worlds. You're already being praised as a standout, standout performer. So tell me a bit about these early stages. What was it like transitioning into competitive? Did your family support it? And was there any sort of a goal in mind or was it just for fun? Uh, the goal was always to like be a pro. The goal wasn't necessarily to like make money. That just kind of came with it. Like I just wanted to be the best at what I was doing. Right. And uh, my family didn't support it the whole time because uh, I go to church on Sundays and on Sundays they had all the online tournaments and I'm West Coast. So like the tournaments start at like 10 a.m. So my dad would get mad at me every weekend. But, like I just kept grinding that out. Right. And somewhere along the way they started being supportive and now everyone's supportive and it's really cool. But uh, I think I got a lucky break at the beginning of Halo 5, I would say. Like I just started getting really good individually and I think that's place a lot of people need to start is just individual skill before they work on their team game because you have to be able to stand out amongst everyone else and that's individual you got to be an individual to stand out 
So I think I just got really good at that and everyone started noticing and then it just sort of took off and I started playing really well against everyone and I was confident the whole time because I've been grinding for 10 years with this right. in mind. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's that's amazing that you knew so early on. Like you said it earlier, like you knew you wanted to do MLG specifically for Halo. So even when Halo 4 was Halo 4, you pushed through that, pushed through H2A. And then, yeah, like you, like you said, I don't know if I want to call it a lucky break because you're as talented as you are now. But uh, it was a pretty fast climb. Like you're already in the top four. Trippy, uh, you, on the other hand, it seemed like you had to grind a little bit longer to get to that spotlight. So from yep. what I could tell, your career started off in 2016, 2016. in the early stages uh, early stages was like a fight to qualify for the HCS Pro League, kicking off things with Catastrophe, with Moose, oh, yeah. Brainstorm. Let me know if I'm wrong about anything, by the way, but you managed to win the first three open qualifiers to qualify for the last chance qualifier, but you couldn't make it through. You later formed a new team, Trivec, for a second attempt at pro status, and then later on Contagious, getting so close each time. But it wasn't until the offseason when you joined Ninja, <clears throat> Victory X, and L-Town on Luminosity that your stock as a pro player rose dramatically. So, man, oh, yeah. what, what was that grind like in the early stages what was it like getting into competing? And then how does it feel being one player amongst a large pool of potential applicants and trying to stand out, basically? Oh, yeah. Well, to start out, I got to I gotta give a, a big thanks to uh, the man Renegade, JW himself. Because oh, yeah? if it weren't for him, I probably would have never competed. He's He literally, like, forced me to team with him. Wow. That was a, I was just a straight, like, 2v2 guy at the start of Halo 5. I played a bunch of game battles. I, okay. won, I, I won a lot of the tournaments online, just 2v2s and all the game battles tournaments online. And uh, that's how I met Renegade. It was on GB. And so he hit me up. Uh, and that's how I kind of started. That's how it all started was with Renegade. And then, yeah, um, uh, worked my way through up to, cat, to cat, uh, Catastrophe, sorry, uh, Trivec and those teams, the AM teams. And then my boy Ninja. Uh, going. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That was so much fun. Um, what happened with? Um, I remember... They were. This was like. Was this before Worlds when we was on when I was on that team, Zane? Was that before yeah, Worlds? Yeah, Second yeah. Worlds? Yep. Yeah. Um. They were just trying to make a really good team for Worlds, and I was talking to L Town, who was teaming with Ninja at the time, and uh, I was really good friends with Ninja because before Halo Five had come out, um, uh -huh. me and him would just play MCC doubles all the time and just play, and we'd we'd stream together. Awesome. Um, yeah, we're still still really good friends. Uh -huh. Um. Yeah, and that's where how I gained. Uh, in friendship with Ninja, and I already knew L-Town from 2v2s, so that's kind of how I got my way in. I knew both of those guys. Never knew Cam, but Cam's a great guy. And, uh, yeah, that's that's where kind of it all started for me, and, uh, yeah, it feels great to be one of the few to do it, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, things totally snowball for there, especially for Ninja. That's yeah. a whole other story, but, uh, yeah. But yeah, so it kind of leads to my next question. You guys already kind of gave me answers for this, but if you have anything else, uh, basically, what did you both do to stand out? Because I think what propelled you forward, or sorry, uh, what uh, what propels you forward in most careers back in the day was things like FFA, getting max rank in classic Halo titles so that you could hop into matchmaking with pros and try to like get your name out of there, uh, get your name out there. Were, were these like the strategies that you tried or was there anything different that really helped you network with the right people? I guess Renegade was like the big move for you. Yeah. But what do you guys think as far as like today standing out as a pro player? What would you need to do basically? <clears throat> oh, man. I mean, I mean there's ton of, tons of things. I mean, grinding. Wait, who grinded matchmaking, Zane? And just did not didn't did oxide grind matchmaking. Did oxide grinded matchmaking. Did not, like, you yeah, can just, grind things, but you just yeah. gotta work on like the individual aspect of your game and your yeah. own like self awareness in game. So yeah. being aware enough to be able to look at your teammates and know what you need to do on your own without any communication. Right. That's a big thing people lack. Like they just assume they can do whatever, but they don't have anything going for them. You need to look around, look where your teammates are at, look where the enemy's at, and like figure out what you need to do just with that information alone. That'll That'll make you a way better player if you can figure that out. Right, right. And then how do you get into these like money eights lobbies and stuff like that? It seems oh, like yeah. this is where people are excelling. Like, literally, I tell us everyone who <laughs> asked me this in my stream, like you you literally have to just work your way up through the ranks. Mm -hmm. Ditch ditch the ditch your friends that maybe aren't as good as you or ditch, <laughs> ditch, I mean that sounds true. terrible, but I mean <laughs> I mean yeah. you might break you, you might better. you gotta you gotta play with better people to get better. It's true. Like yeah. um whether that's grinding matchmaking with friends or people that you're really good as you or playing game battles and just getting your name out there any way you can, honestly. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, so it seems like just looking back at Halo 5, throughout the entirety of Halo 5, you two kind of competed against each other. And I remember one of the most pivotal matches was when Penguin was on Reciprocity, Trippy was on Envious in Worlds 2018. <laughs> we don't talk about this. Spartans <laughs> controller disconnects. I was, dominating. I was dominating your team. 
<laughs> oh yeah, it was a heartbreaking <laughs> loss. Two, what seemed evenly uh, matched teams. You guys seemed pretty pretty evenly matched. So I want to know what was your relationship like throughout Halo Five? Were you ever rivals? Did you know each other well at the time? And then in the background, oh, we're going to show uh, Spartans controller disconnected. We should even <laughs> yeah even when at the, even were we friends when I was on Ninja's team, Zane? Yeah, we were good friends. Like we were entire, we were really good friends. Like the literal entire, entire time, entire yeah, like, time Halo Five. Um, <laughs> yeah, he was always on Liquid for that long duration with. Uh, Stellar and Kevin, he was with them most of Halo 5. Um, and then I was, yeah, we just never teamed, I guess. It was, huh? it was never literally a rivalry. Like, we were no. competitive against each other for sure, but like, I don't know. I always saw Joey as like a friend. So. Yeah, we'd always game online and just chat and have a good time. Yeah. And uh, what about that match at Worlds? Uh, any good, good, bad memories from that? Uh, Tony, if you have it, throw it up in the, in the background. I mean, the only. Bad memories that disconnect. <laughs> Literally, but... yeah, probably just that. Um, it, and I mean, it's not to say that we would have for sure won the game because I don't know for sure if we would have won the game. It's just like one of those things that happens, and then it's like, oh no, and you panic, or not even panic, like because your player just died. Now you're in a three v four, and now they're taking right. advantage of that. And it's like, right. well, now what can I do? And it's just like, uh, I don't blame that for like the reason solely why we lost, but it is kind of tragic, and that's what we'll yeah. always remembered out of that series. But in actuality, the series was a really close series, and it was really good, and everyone was playing pretty dang good. So yeah. I'd rather have it be remembered for that than like a tragedy in a Game 7. But Definitely. it is what it is. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, the timing of it was so brutal. I, like, just watching him <laughs> die with Snipe, give up Snipe, and then you get a, you get camo immediately after. Well, yeah, I mean, we kill, we kill, um, we kill Tyler yeah. Spartan uh, yeah. on the Nest Bridge, and then Zane's waiting on camo, because he thinks... And then was, we kill him as soon as it like was about to come up, and then that's where yeah, it just all yeah. went from there. Scattered yeah. camo snipe, a g g. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, I know Tony's trying to do it in the background. At this point, though, I'm gonna push on to the uh, the next question here. Just overall for Halo Five, we could actually play it while we talk about this too. But uh, it seems like you guys did both kind of hold the same spot overall with your teams, like Renegade, the final uh, tournament you were, or sorry, uh, Penguin, you were on Renegades, the final tournament, uh, third place, and then Reciprocity, second place. Uh, overall, you're kind of holding these like third, second, fourth in the top three, top four teams throughout. Uh, I was wondering, what did you guys think of Halo 5 kind of moving on from the game uh, overall? Oh, I, I really enjoyed Halo 5. I loved it. Um, the only thing that bugged me, um, Competitive wise, was definitely grenade hit markers. Mm. Um, that is one thing I think just takes away from the competitive. Yeah, because it's, it's a moving radar. You know, you literally you, know you get so much information. Like, you get so much information coming from a grenade hit marker. Like, if you're hiding blue sniper ramp on Kali, like under the sneaky, and someone throws a random nade on accident and hits you, it's like, oh, he's right. one hit. Like, you're dead. Like, you can't you can't get away from that. <laughs> Yeah. Or just if you get hit by any nade, it can be literally they're just they're just motion sensors is what they are, in my opinion. Like yeah, literally moving motion. Literally sensors. moving motion sensors. That's it, the only it, thing. If, you, if a guy's one fish. shot, throw a nade at him, you know for sure if you can push or not if it hits him. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Okay, he's gonna be one shot still. Okay, uh, he's full shields. Yeah. On top of the fact that, uh, sorry to interrupt, it, they have different sounds too depending on how much damage you do. Yeah. Right? You can tell how much you hurt them. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. wild. It's, it's, yeah, I mean, it's, and, and if like playing against a good team, like a top, like a top, like a Tox or a Splice, like they're gonna use that to their advantage 100. percent And it's like once right. that happens, it's nothing you can really do. Like, but like Halo 3, for instance, you get hit by a nade, elbow or something, and he looks away. You can you can still keep running at him one hit, like and get behind someone to make a play and back smack. Um, it's just a huge difference. Right. Huge difference. Such it, huge difference. It really does seem like something that's unanimously agreed upon by everyone to just remove nade hit markers. So yeah. I feel like I'd be pretty surprised at this point if they're in the next game because shot hit markers I understand and most yeah, people can kind of understand. Yeah, but nade hit markers, everybody's just like remove them. Like yeah. it's not like somebody's fighting for this. So yeah, yeah. hopefully they do that. Hopefully, um, definitely. I, it's definitely on my wish list for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Now, another thing, of course, is uh, a lot of people say is just kind of the amount of time it took to get to those ideal competitive settings. Did you guys have any problems with, like, Spartan Charge, Ground Pound, the autos, oh, things man. like that? Uh, how was that oh, for you? <laughs> you I mean, I, I, I abused them for sure because they right. were just oh, easy right. to use. Yeah, you're talking like... to the king himself of those abilities. Well, I'll go and say the oh, king. my God. You guys, uh, sorry, I, I closed it. There's a trivia. You know how, like, on the uh, on your your wikis? Uh, yeah, yeah. There's a trivia, and the trivia for Penguin is literally like, here, let me read it. Uh, so Penguin, 
Penguin is considered one of the most adept assault uh, rifle adept. users <laughs> in Halo 5. Adept assault rifle users. Adept it also says assault. I'm like seven times better than Rain. You it know? does say you're seven times better than Rain as well. I think his Plain. says he's seven times worse than me. I'm pretty really? sure. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's funny. But, but you nah, did, have, I mean, you did have a good AR though. Not even gonna lie. I mean, I just used it. Like so many more people could have used it, but they just like didn't because they wanted to just five things. So I don't know. Right. Oh uh, yeah. You just use it to your advantage, and that's it. Worked obviously. But, but no, nah, I mean the competitive settings at the end of Halo Five definitely what they should have started out with. Oh I yeah. Think, I think yeah. the the ending settings of Halo Five are actually like good settings that you can play. Maps maybe like you could change some maps around, but mm. game type wise, like I think the game types were all fine at the end of Halo Five. Yeah. What if, they, if, that, if that would have been the start, if the settings at the end of Halo 5 would have been the start, plus no grenade hit markers, oh man, would I have been a happy man. <laughs> I think the game would have had a better lifespan, too. Yeah. I think I would have enjoyed it more. Yeah. yeah, especially building off of that. If that's, like, the groundwork, and you're building, like, you're adding maps off of that, like, it would have yeah. been amazing. Um, what do you guys think for something like 2s? Like, 2s coming back for Face It. Uh, I'm assuming you're going to be playing Halo 3, but... Um, yeah. Yeah, oh. you guys... Are we? Yeah, Zane. Hey, we. I mean, I'd be down to play in the yeah, the next Halo Five if we can. And if we, we could play, play in both, I'd probably play in both. But I definitely would be down to do both. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I mean, it, it depends if you qualify or not. Is it? If, it oh well, yeah. If we, don't, if we don't qualify for the Halo Three Four v Four, like getting paid to go, we're definitely going for Halo Five Two v Two at least. Yeah. If we can play in both, we will. But we'll have to see. All right. Well, you heard it here. Yeah. Um. So now that you guys have made the switch over to Halo 3, how do you guys feel playing Halo 3 again in 2019? Now it is MCC, oh, so it's not quite exactly the same, but how how's that been? Um, I I mean I'm a huge fan of Halo 3. Like I said, I've been I've been playing this game for 10 years. Like, oh yeah, um, <laughs> I absolutely love this game. I mean I, I love it. I have no no problem. I mean c- coming back to it, I feel kind of indifferent because you remember it so fondly, but then you come back and all the glaring flaws are in your face. <laughs> blood shots. <laughs> blood shots galore. Yeah, online oh is God, online. Blood shots. Online, 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 yeah, online Halo online 3 is, it is I terrible. Love but... I love playing online. Oh, yeah, online is, is so much fun. The dedicated man. servers make it a little better sometimes, depending on what one you get, but like Halo 3 online sucks. Let's watch just out, watch out for East US 2, Zane. <laughs> East US 2 is the <laughs> Death of me, dude. Yeah. Online Halo Three oh, is man. trash. I can't do it. Man, it's a god tier game. Yeah, it's, it's so much fun. Completely different things. Right, yeah. right. That's literally what I've heard. Is like, if you don't know what the best Halo is until you play Halo Three online, and then then you know, like literally. No, oh, yeah. Uh, it's a completely different game. Uh, just like from the start of Halo Three, kind of coming into the scene or coming back into the scene, it seemed like. Uh, like I had talked about this a couple weeks ago on HCS Weekly with Sims, that you guys never really got your shot in the spotlight in Halo 3. When the new season began, it seemed like all the older, experienced players who kicked off their careers with Halo 3 kind of came back to form dominant rosters, whereas the young guys who started in Halo 5 had to kind of scramble to form teams among themselves. Is that kind of how it felt, starting it off? Oh, that's that's literally what happened. I mean, after Halo Thanks. after Halo 5, um, we even all agreed to stick. Like me, Snipe Down, Ola, and uh, Tommy, like we were all going to stick... Yeah. And just play Halo Three, and just grind it out. Ames. But then, but then the twins came back. You know, I mean, I don't, I don't blame them at all. They want a tournament. Like they're doing, they're beasting. They're beasts. Basically, yeah. just um, just rewind the clock nine years and how much how much weight your name held in 2010 yeah. is how much it held as soon as they started doing Halo Three again. Yeah, I know. like straight so. up. If you didn't have a name in Halo Three back then, you basically didn't have one now, and it's just like good luck. So really, you kind of yeah. had to start. You had to start kind of making ones, which is a, what I think we've been doing. Which, yeah, I think we've we've done that so far. It's pretty good. So yeah, far. that's a that's a great point because it did kind of reset you guys, and then you formed like the it was the H five squad back in uh, literally St. Louis. Yeah. It literally, literally was. Me, me, Tom, me saying people uh, thought we were gonna get and owned, and it's just like dude, yeah, we Halo three. Like what? We yeah. literally had no practice that event, and Neptune and saying and have never played i mean they never they have no experience playing. i mean not competitively i don't think like sure. a lot of experience and game one was like five four heretic flag game two was 50 44 on amp and then game three we lost by like 50 or like the 60 seconds on ball but i was like it was pretty close we, we played pretty good we played them pretty good honestly it was a 3-0 yeah it was, yeah it was rest, okay. rest um nice. we, we, we were pretty good um I mean, people just like undervalued like how good some of the Halo Five players would be. Like even Sabinator is like a cracked beast. Like I don't yeah. know. Like pe- <laughs> people just I don't, I don't know. Like they they're just like oh yeah, whoever's good ten years ago clearly gonna be good now. Whoever wasn't around, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh-huh. But I mean, we were playing Halo Five at the highest level for years. Like yeah. it doesn't matter if Halo Three is like different. Like it'll only take like a month or two max to get like pretty good at it because of all the 
mechanics and teamwork and everything else learned in Halo 5. Like, it does transfer over. People just kind yeah. of assumed yeah. it wouldn't, but I don't know. Now you can see, like, a lot of younger players are doing pretty well in Halo 3, and a lot of the older ones have gone back into nothing, <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the thing about Halo, and, and I'm going to include Halo 4 in this bracket, is just, like, every single Halo game is so challenging that I feel like the process that you go through learning to master those games, you can apply to any FPS title. It doesn't matter if it's Halo, it could be Call of Duty, like, you can jump around, uh, and it just it transfers, Definitely. so. Yeah, so, I mean, you can't sleep on them, because uh, Red Bull Rise Till Dawn just came around, and, and there you go, you got your time in the spotlight. Uh, tell me, what was prep like for this one? Did you guys form your team early on? Did you play on a regular basis? Oh, did you establish roles between each other? How did that work? I texted Zane, like, <laughs> how many days after it was announced? Like, two? Like, a two days? Or days. a day after? Yeah, yeah I, I, we, we were the third team that signed up. Wow. Um, okay. Made our team, and then uh, we grinded matchmaking. We played as much money twos as we could, just playing wagers or playing 2v2s two against other, right. other pros. And we won a majority. I think we won literally 90% of our matches we played in. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Um, and yeah, we, just, we didn't take much time off, just grinded, and yeah, we ended up coming out with the dub. <laughs> I, th I, th I think we definitely prepared better than most of the teams. Yeah. They, uh -huh. Just because I think they just kind of played matchmaking, assumed it would be fine. We were playing the other kids that literally sweat in two, so like we were, right. we were ready. <laughs> Yeah, we played probably we played Boo Boo and Tuss, our semifinals match. We played them online like many times, like a right. lot of times, and uh, yeah, yeah. Played. which mm. sorry, um, which yeah would be amazing experience, I assume. Um, but like when you got there, what was the event like? Of course, you're way up in a tower, like you had oh, to stay yeah. up all night. Was that super tiring? Like, what was that experience? Do you guys stay up normally that late? Like, uh, what was that like? Oh, um, dude. Yeah, it's no. Nice. It's, 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I do not stay up that late. I think I, I think during Halo Five, like at the beginning, when all those big tournaments were announced, like I would stay up till three a.m., go to school at seven a.m., like whatever, wow. because the game was brand new. Like you got to get good at it. You got to play it all right. the time. Now that games have been out for a long time, and all these games have been out, like I go to bed at by like midnight every night, like yeah. pretty much. There's but we no also to stay up that late. You get on earlier, get off earlier. Right. You made a play though, Zane. Remember? Uh, oh, we stayed up till like yeah. We we knew we were gonna be up late, so we ended up the night the night before we stayed up till like six a.m. That's the play. Just, just we just we we forced ourselves to stay awake. Right. And then uh, we woke up. What time did we wake up? Like three o'clock in the afternoon. It was perfect. Three or four. We woke up at like three or four in the afternoon. Uh huh. And then um yeah we were we were full we weren't even tired like at all like that whole night it was perfect it was definitely the play <laughs> but yeah playing up and i drank red bull every day leading up to the event because <laughs> I knew my body would need to adjust right um yeah i mean because like some of your competition like i saw snipe down's tweet and he said like both blood vessels and both my eyes popped and he's like up oh, all night long or something. I, yeah, think, like, I, I think they drove i think they drove like three hours to the event that day so that's uh -huh. gee i'm surprised they did as well as they did considering they barely played too yeah oh they yeah. did it is super yeah they only played i remember the only practice One i watched suit. them yeah they played like uh four or five games against twins against War robox they only played them and then that was the only practice they got wow and yeah they dominated that's just sure. sniped down being sniped down <laughs> yeah <laughs> literally sniped down on halo 3 man yeah the beast. I mean, despite how unbelievable both of those players are, we got to talk about that grand final series because you guys dominated them, I would say. Like, especially in those last two games. I mean, starting with the game on Heretic, which, Tony, if you happen to have it in the background, we can throw up Heretic. Um, it was close at the beginning, but then you guys really started to pull away. So what would you say? Was there any kind of, like, a specific strategy you had for this one? Oh, I mean, I love I I love going P1. or and I love having Zane or, I mean, either. I mean, uh, ideal setup either my, or. for twos, either or. Uh -huh. Uh, definitely P1 or P3, um, and just trapping them in the base, literally. Because right. in twos, I mean, there's only two guys, so you're only going to get so so weak. And if you're the guys P1 and holding setup, you can literally just back up if you get weak. Just back up. You don't even need to back take the up fight. And, uh, and back then up also, because there's, because there's only two people on the map, it's like impossible to sneak through. So if you have peace out of the map, you're going to know where they are the entire time. Yeah, right. So they're it's not going to be able to get behind you or anything. Yeah, trap them in the base, throw nades. You can even go front base to window, drop down, juke them out. Like you can do yeah. so many different things to mess you, with their. Yeah, head. you can yeah. flank from P, but you can't get flanked at P. That's yeah. like why P is so important in two. Right. Especially. Right. 
it, it's such easy access too. like you get one guy up on p3 the other guy goes front base and then you just collapse on the both sides and yeah like oh, yeah. you said there's the box in front base it's so easy to get up top if they just go lift, up, they're fucked. literally like, yeah they're done yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah so what do you even do let's say you're the guys in the bottom of the base and you're under fire what would you say is like the, the best strategy to get out do you oh. save your nades do you like oh, I, know I mean me and yeah, lift, we gotta lift. You gotta lift up. I mean, lift if you're, up if you're under, you gotta lift under right away, or you, you gotta lift, lift right away. Fight, yeah. And what me and me and Zane did really well too. I mean, um, you just gotta fight. Um, me, we, me and him like fighting P3. Honestly, we just jump out together, usually yeah. at the same time, and just shoot P3. <laughs> and it usually works. Right. <laughs> if you hit all your shots, he just goes straight down. But yeah. I mean, if the P3 guy is living and playing it smart, um, I mean, it'll basically back up the car in the bubble and just try to live, and try to find that other guy who's P1 and like trying to flank around and kill you. Because right. the P3 guy isn't going to do much. You're just trying to focus on the other guy who's pushing you. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, um, de so, yeah, definitely. <clears throat> yeah, so when it came to the Narrows game at the end, it seemed like you guys had clearly designated roles. Like, Penguin was the snipe guy in the back the entire time. Trippy, you're up in their faces with the oh, BR yeah. just being a nuisance trying to grab their snipe. Uh, yeah, tell me a bit about that, uh, the Narrows strategy. Oh, yeah, Zane always... I mean, I, he just, I just tell him to look over me every time, every time I'm pushing. And yeah. uh, he'll usually just body someone, and even, I just get yeah, easy. Yeah, even when you don't say I already know what I'm doing. Yeah, he's, already, <laughs> he's, always, he's usually always just looking over me. Every time yeah. I'm holding, anytime I'm just pushing. And, I uh, watch the map, he makes the plays. That's, yeah. like, <laughs> that's like what it was, kind of. Pretty much. <laughs> That's uh, that's literally what it was. I actually grabbed some clips, and hopefully this can go up because I, I'm not sure if everything I'm asking to go up goes up. Uh, but first off, Penguin, you hit crazy snipes. Let's look Ooh. at those snipes. Hey, 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 uh, that was the first time I tried that all weekend. Really? I heard, I heard him talk about like, oh, people are trying to snipe everyone over the lift. That was the first time I even attempted it all weekend. And you no scope them twice. <laughs> it, yeah, it, it was under R1, dude. It was kind of fucked up, dude. Like you hit like, <laughs> <laughs> like it was the weirdest angle, and you hit. Bottom and then I was R1. And then it, yeah, and I was R1. Snapped onto the other it's guy. from R1. Yeah. Makes no sense. It was such it's, a weird It's so funny, too, because I was like, where was I on the, was I alive when you did that? I think yeah, I was pushed up. I think I was pushed up on the map, and I hear a lift, and I, I look back, I see Zane. I, I see, I just hear two shots go off, and he's like literally under R1, and I just see uh, Penguin, or uh, yeah, Penguin sniped Ace. I'm just like, wait, what? <laughs> what? And he's like, I got him. That's all you just yeah, gotta <laughs> push up. <laughs> Trying to figure out how we can get that up for you, but I had two in mind. So it was it was the crazy snipes from Penguin, and then it was trippy. You're just like fearless plays rocket, against snipe dude. down and ace, oh, where yeah. you got like up in his dude, face. Your with the rocket VR. custom was cracked. Oh, oh yeah, I didn't include that, but <laughs> yeah, that was that was like a roof rock bounce rocket. Yeah, that was a weird. I don't know bounce. how. Yeah, the that 180 <laughs> like perfect angle, perfect <laughs> timing, perfect everything. Only way you stay alive is that rocket. Yeah. Oh my God. That was insane. I'm gonna copy paste these. I, we're gonna see if we can get this, guys. I'm sorry. Hold on. And then whenever they're ready, we'll just throw them up, and then we can talk about them again. But I got the. I reposted the timestamps, Tony. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get those. We'll skip over for now. Um. So you guys just you you ran shop. What do you what are you thinking? Like kind of following up with this event. Uh, you've got face it coming up. Are there any other two v twos that you're kind of looking forward to, or is I don't think we have any. Um, yeah, probably, I mean, e probably either the London one, or if we don't qualify, or the Atlantic City Halo Five now that they announced that. But uh, if we yeah, can, probably just we those will two. plan them, but probably try to focus on the four v fours. Yeah, probably most of a four v four win would mean more than a two v two win to me. Yeah, it's the yeah. same to me as well. Yeah. Halo, of course, overall is kind of going through like a weird transition period. We have MCC PC coming up. Like, are you guys still like going like 100% into Halo? You're competing hard. Have you been kind of like pulling back a little bit, taking a break, kind of figuring out what you, what you want to do? Or no breaks. Uh, no breaks. I like yeah. no, no sleep. <laughs> no breaks. Not nah, yeah. deep grind. Grinding Halo. Looking forward to Infinite. And looking forward yeah, to grinding same. Infinite. Look, I'm really looking forward to Infinite now that it's oh, especially, yeah. now, especially now that it's launching with the new Xbox. Which right. I don't think people realize how crazy that is. Uh -huh. That means that means Microsoft is really showing that they care still for Halo, and that's that, it's their it's their little baby. Sure. And uh, yeah, launching with the new Xbox, I think, is going to be one of the biggest. That things. limited edition. Yeah. Same. <laughs> infinite console. Same. No, but oh, yeah, that I, would actually I'm, be I'm super hyped. Yeah. Yeah, that'll move consoles for sure. Though at the same time, it is unfortunate getting just one major Halo title for the entirety of Xbox One. You know what I mean? Like back when oh, you yeah. had 360. Well, well, 360 had three. It had Reach. It had ODST. It had four. Yeah. So I mean, getting just Halo Five and MCC is kind of Halo like, Wars Two, bro. 
Halo Wars 2, yeah. For oh sure. Spart- Spartan Assault, bro. Did you play <laughs> Halo Wars? I don't phone? think I've ever played Halo Wars. I've uh, never had People love the original, though. I don't know yeah. how they feel about uh, number yeah. two. As far as uh, MCCPC, like, that's going to kind of be the next big bastion. We're going to be on Reach for a little bit as well. Do you guys play mouse and keyboard? Will you make a transition? Are you going to stick with the gamepad? What do you guys think of there? I'm definitely going to try it for sure. I used to play a lot of Battle Royale like on PC, uh, H1Z1 and PUBG and stuff like that. <laughs> um so yeah i'm definitely gonna be trying it out i cannot wait it's gonna be super fun yeah so you think you'd make the switch to mouse and keyboard or you would stick with the uh, uh... that's where the i mean wherever <laughs> wherever the competitive goes i mean if, if, if right. they want if, if the competitive goes towards pc then i'm definitely making the switch or i mean yeah. if it's six seven if it's six to console or just controller i'll i'll be totally fine with that too but i'm sure if it's a pc switch i'm sure people will still use controllers right um yeah, yeah uh, they have they have tried to balance that more the controller and mouse and keyboard players. Like you look at Snipe down playing Apex every day, and now he's about to qualify oh, for X Games on a controller. Literally on a controller, yeah, yeah which is insane. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, it's couple. not it's not impossible. Like you can do it. Uh-huh. Hang on, what are you thinking? I'm definitely gonna try mouse and keyboard. And I'm gonna grind it out for like months and see how it goes. Because I mean. A lot of people, I feel like, when they tried to go play PC games after playing Xbox for years, they give it like a week. It's uh-huh. like, dude, you didn't get sick on a controller in a week. You got to play for yeah. months. Like, you literally right. have to try for months to get. Especially, good at it. especially PC. Like, you gotta. I mean, you gotta grind PC because <laughs> so many more keybinds and just things you gotta memorize. It's right. like it's like learning. I mean, controller is only so many buttons. You know, like you only got like a little sticky and a couple sure. buttons. But, <laughs> sure. Like, yeah, little yeah, sticky. Bro, yeah, yeah a couple little stickies, but uh, uh, no, yeah, PC is definitely a grind for sure. You good, uh, yeah, good segue by the way. Can we see that controller? Is that your the controller? Oh yeah, it? baby. What's my your... <laughs> Xbox Elite? Let's go. Joker. Or no, X, yeah, Xbox Scuff Elite. Uh, with the Joker. You see that guy over oh, right here? Yeah. Yeah, pretty cool. I like this. I like the controller. I've had Do it you for, use like, the paddles at all? You climb? No, or... I mean I did for Halo Five. I used uh one one paddle for dashing. I'm a right. right now, right now Halo Three. Now just, just normal bumper jumper. That's about it. Right, you don't really need it. And then, no, you, no. are you semi claw? Are you like clawing for that? Or you just not I don't claw. Oh, I don't claw. Yeah, just go for it. Yeah. I never, I, I never I, learned. Claw. I wish I, I did. I really wish dude, I would have learned claw growing up. Mm, you probably sh- uh, low key you shoot better not clawing. I swear to God, really? the, the yeah. players who don't claw shoot better. Really? Snipe down, Royal Two, like all those yeah. beasts. <laughs> One thing but, I did uh, notice is it does change the position of your thumb, so it does make sure. Yeah, it different. does. It changes like, oh, yeah. the tightness of the tendons, position of your thumb. Like it changes a lot of stuff. I notice when I like try oh, to yeah, snipe, right. when I try to snipe with my pointer finger, like to shoot, like I low key hit some of like the most consistent snipes. But because I'm so used to shooting with my middle finger, like I don't br like a normal human. But like <laughs> I, I just claw is really good for map movement. But I swear, like not clawing is better for shooting. Interesting. Well, there you go. I, I mean, if you use paddles, that's kind of similar to not clawing. Though paddles have their own issue as well, because just the the process of pressing under the controller oh, kind yeah. of. It, yeah, it can kind of mess up your your shot in certain instances too, so mm-hmm. that that has its own learning curve. Or yeah. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say going off of that. I mean, sometimes like if I'm pressing a button on the back of the paddle, like when I press something with my middle finger, that'll just. I mean, sometimes it just triggers another finger to shoot or do something. Sure. Have you guys, have you guys ever done? Has that ever happened to I've you guys? Ne- I've never had that problem. No. Oh yeah, that happened to me in Halo Maybe. Five a couple times. It's, it was really weird. Yeah, with the elite especially though, it's very easy to accidentally press those paddles. You can you put that thing gotta down on your the, knee and you press all the super sensitive. Paddles. Super sensitive. For get sure. the scuff elite paddles. They're way way better positioned. I hated the elite, elite paddles. I couldn't use them. Yeah, which those are kind of similar. I just got my prestige as well. Yeah. No I way. Get I still need to get it. I still need to get that. I need to hit up yeah. my boy Alex Mathis over at Scuff. You know what? It's sick though. I'm still worried about these paddles. Like these are very plastic. They're kind of oh, just yeah. like a, a bendy plastic, and I'm just worried it's that just they're a gonna old normal scuffs like sticks, probably. Right, and that's it's always the warm. weak spot on my scuffs is that eventually the paddles, they, the button wears down and they stop responding, or this will snap or something if you're pressing it too hard. So it's like that. I already it's, don't it's like. That's why I love elite controllers because I swear I've never had an elite controller break on me ever. Yeah, and then I, I was, was talking about it a second ago, but the scuff elite paddle thing, it like replaces your battery pack and makes the paddles like the the four slats like a scuff. Mm. It's literally the best. It's the best thing ever. I swear. It's funny yeah, you the say Scuff that. Thing. Has these scuff style paddles, right on the bottom, but they're like they're silver or something. Yeah, they're like silver. In- instead of like having the magnet go in like the reg- regular elite paddle, it's like a part of the battery pack that just comes down like in a line. Mm. So it's like it. You hold it like a just a regular scuff. Interesting. 
Uh, what was that yeah. trivia? It's funny you say that, Zane. Like you talking about Scuff Elite. I I think I have seven or six down here in my drawer right here of just broken normal scuffs. And ever since I'd got the Scuff Elite, I have it's been I it hasn't broken like once. It's everything's been perfect. That's so awesome. Far. Yeah. I so any, any any of you guys trying to buy a scuff? The Elite. He's selling it to you right there. <laughs> you know. You know. Yeah, yeah. I have like six scuffs taken apart in my closet. I need to put together. Oh my gosh! Did you? Oh, you made me that one uh, amazing controller that one time. Remember that? That white one. I do remember that. Something else, uh, just to show you guys. So this is a magnetic faceplate now, right? This comes oh, right wow. off. Oh wow! Yeah, and it's very that. easy to change the sticks and everything inside because you could just pull. And I'm trying to make sure it fits in the oh, yeah. camera. And you just pull this guy right off, and you get different colors. So if you want to upgrade it, like this is sick. This is a soft material too. So no pretty, way. It's it's cool. Just uh, just the paddles I'm worried about for now, but we'll see. I gotta grind that. The cinch though, not to go on for hours about controllers. Have you guys seen the cinch before? Yeah, I have. Yeah. Got I have. Tiny little buttons here. This is pretty great. Like the like position's kind of weird, but they are very easy to press. And they're really, they really easy to press. Yeah. yeah, super easy to press, and they feel very responsive. Do yours light up? Like, uh, what's that? Do your buttons light up on the back? The cinch? They they do light up, but one of them yeah. But yeah, they light up. Uh, yeah. yeah, I have one. They're super cool. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty dope. Uh, all right, that's just me being a nerd. Uh, Tony says <laughs> that we uh, we have the clip, so let's start with the one of twenty four. Tony, the uh, the snipe. Let's go for it. He's down here because they know they have zero room for error. Only six minutes left in the game. They're down by four. At this point, they cannot let a lot of free kills. Aren't you kidding me? Penguin hits the impossible no scope. We've seen countless players try at this tournament going for those shots. It's a killing. Spot. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah. Bravo stood up on that one. Uh, like, it just literally, like, made him pop off. How did you feel about that hitting it? Did you say I didn't see my reaction? I, I didn't see anything on oh, your face. Your face oh, like, yeah. No, I just, I just, I'm moving on. I'm like, let's win. <laughs> let's literally, win. let's win, bro. Let's that's, go. that's me every time. Every time I get, like, a triple, like, in Halo 5, I'd get, like, a sick triple or anything. Like, I wouldn't even react. I would just keep playing the game, like, trying to right. the next thing. That's that, just that's, me as a player. Uh, yeah, but that's how it has to be because if you react and your heart rate goes up, then it can start affecting your gameplay in a negative way, right? Or maybe my reaction time will just get better, and then I'll just start hitting maybe. more insane shots. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the best mindset to have. So fuck yeah, I, I'd say take that mindset. Here it is in slow motion, and it's the best angle too because you can, you know he's coming off the lift. R one uh, looks up, perfect timing, dude. Boom, boom, boom. later Ace. <laughs> boom. <laughs> It's like whip past his face. That was crazy. Uh, let's see trippies now too. We'll go into jump into the next one. It's uh, you're gonna die and then like you'll get a kill, die and then you'll do uh, a bunch of other crazy oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> into lobby Jeez. and challenges snipe down very bravely. Now at twenty two eleven, five kills away from winning the tournament. Just shutting down snipe down this entire game. Though look at snipe down only has two kills at the moment. Just not able to get really anything going this game and a lot of times when you interview some players over a, a previous match you ask them the question like who would you rather play some of them just like say I don't really care because they don't mean it these guys actually meant it they do not care who they play uh, that's exactly what I was thinking Dave as I'm watching them play it is evident that they did not mind who was in the grand finals against them because they came here ready to play only three kills away from closing out Red Bull rise till dawn 22 to 11 those new rockets are gonna go in the hands yeah, yeah. So I didn't include uh, that. The rock happens right after when you do the yeah. the roof bounce, and I wasn't sure how much I should grab. But like you're like in their face the whole time, being such a nuisance. You go down, oh, yeah. come out go the down, other side. Up. Yeah, and then the rockets there as well. Like uh, yeah, power up, sure. And then uh, penguins like like guarding your back when that happens. It's just like the perfect. Yeah, team I'm pretty sure I was just running or running away. I was really weak, and then I think Zane, you called out. He was dropping. Yeah, and then, or something. It, something. Yeah, and then he, as like, soon shot as, you too. You're yeah, just a beast. and then as soon as that, I heard that. I freaking jump 180 and just, I, I kind of saw his shadow though i saw i kind of like predict i i, I could have sworn i saw something but yeah right, he shot the rocket he whipped around and shot the <laughs> rocket at the ground yeah i just yeah I just, tony i don't know I if you know uh that. if you just have the like the timestamp to the end that i gave you but right after he gets a kill with that rocket launcher i don't know if you're able to continue playing from that point that we left off if possible we can we can show the rocket one as well the one one not like criticism, but the one thing when you were pushing up with the BR and you got the kill on snipe down, he dropped the snipe in your face, and I think you missed the window to catch it out of the air. Oh yeah, were, when I killed him behind the afro, yeah. Yeah, when you killed yeah. him behind the afro, that was the one thing I was like, oh, he could have grabbed that. <sighs> uh, that would have been nuts. Dude, the funniest um, part about the after the rocket play though, we we both end up dying, I think, to Ace, and then I come off spawn. I think we're up twenty four to thirteen, 
I just hide in the corner. <laughs> like <laughs> I'm sweating so hard. We're up by eleven. I'm just hiding in the yeah. corner, waiting for Joey to come off spawn. So it's it's actually yeah, it's gonna come up very soon. Uh, yeah, you're hiding here too. Twenty two no. to eleven, and then this this. Yeah, you saw nothing. You literally just like, no, I didn't. I got, I got, maybe it was just pure instinct then. <laughs> pure instinct, dude. You, you get shot like rocketed. twice. Boom. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, it's 23 to 13. I hide in the corner. <laughs> We're up by 10. Yeah. Sheesh. Yeah, Ace takes you guys down. And yeah, but that, oh, yeah. at that point, it's like it's game over. Like, Snipe, Snipe yeah. down two kills is crazy to see. I don't think I've ever seen Snipe down with just two kills in, in a competitive match like that. Oh, yeah. So, when you're when you're constantly applying pressure, it's kind of hard to. Oh, for sure. Hard, hard it's kind of hard to do something, especially on narrows too. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, overall, amazing performance from you guys. That kills. Uh, that goes through all the questions that I had for you. We do have our quick Q and A at the end of the show here. So, some people have been asking hey, questions yeah, in go. the chat, and uh, hey. I'll make sure to let you guys know some of these questions. We can see what everybody in the chat thinks. Uh, first one from. Win, uh, Jinxy. So, Trippy, you've been taking pre workout before each match in the 2v2 tournament. <laughs> pre workout. Oh, man. I have not actually. No, I Red Bull. Actually, one, I, one thing I do take though pre workout uh, makes you uh, itchy I depending take, on your reaction to it. I you take can... uh, they're called Arbon Energy Fizz Sticks. It's like, it's like natural energy, like really, it's, it's, it just gives me natural energy. And that's what I take usually when I'm like gaming seriously hard. Oh, wow. Um, okay. That's the only thing I take. Yeah, nothing, no free workout. <laughs> put it, put it up in the camera. Let's see, Arbon. You tweeted about this, I think, too. Just uh, oh yeah, I use this. I use Arbon even for pro, like my protein and like my protein this powder. Stuff. Yeah, this is this is what I use for just like, like my energy drink kind of thing. Yeah, okay. just to wake up and get alert a little bit. That's uh, what I take when I'm gaming seriously. Yeah. Uh, what about you, Penguin? Any uh, energy? Supplement? Red Bull. Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Red Bull esports athlete. Okay. <laughs> Nah, I mean, it, it kind of random for me. Mostly water at home, but like knowing that we were about to be awake for like ten hours at the Red Bull, and I did drink Red Bull every day, like preparing. Right. Actually, like oh, I yeah. actually did that. Oh. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do that because they're gonna have a million Red Bulls there. Yeah, I was gonna say if you're if you're gaming constantly, you gotta nonstop drink water. Don't don't always just keep yeah. drinking. Oh, water's big, huge. Big, big thing people don't. I I see people don't do enough is drink yeah. water. So water uh, is key to everything. But yeah, thinking about it, though, Penguin, big respect for just, like, actually considering that, though, right? Because it's like, yeah, of course, you know, Red Bull's going to be there, but not many people are, like, so competitive. They're like, wait a second, I need to <laughs> wean my body onto this. Because if you take too much Red Bull, you start shaking and stuff. That could totally yeah, ruin or, the entire or tournament. Or clashing, yeah. tired. So yeah. you literally, like, train. Just one a day, work, sit work on it for, like, five hours. A little bit, got a little tolerance worked up a little bit for right. it. Right, that's crazy. Know? Yeah, <laughs> but I respect it. That's how you win games, dude. Like, guys, take notes. Like, I think, uh, I think at the event, I opened like six cans, but only finished in total like two Red Bulls worth because I was just like throwing them away. Like, I, I, I sip on Red Bulls for like five hours, literally, like right. one. Right. So, I mean, a Red Bull event coming up, train your body. Uh, assault rifles are in Halo. Get the best in the world at assault rifles. Like, you can't, exactly. you can't avoid these advantages, man. This is how you win. Uh, so Callus says, uh, question for Penguin and Trippy. Uh, did you guys ever try the no radar settings uh, that the community tried during the BR weapon tuning period? And either way, uh, how do you think both? How do you both think Halo Five would have played without any radar? Uh, not even teammates shown. Uh, I see. There's like two sides to the no radar thing. One of them being, I mean, there's sprint and thrust slide. So. No radar, and everyone would be to be. You, you could literally you could go run super across. Super unpunished. Piece. You would just go yeah. super unpunished and do crazy super. things the entire time. <laughs> the game was already hectic enough. No radar. Right. Like when I tried playing it against pros, like it was just insane. Like huh. the, the craziest stuff was happening. Mm -hmm. That just goes unpunished because you're not on radar. You're just flying right. around. Yeah. So you think that, the uh, ability radar was kind of a better thing, or trippy? What were you going to say there? I, I think <laughs> radar definitely was the play. Uh, I mean, I'm a huge no. I'm a huge no radar fan, but for Halo yeah. Five, like if you don't have if you don't have any radar, like people are coming at you from multiple different directions. You have no idea what's going on. Right. Um, I do. You're, like you're only relying on callouts, which I mean, if you have, you got people moving 90 miles per hour on the map, it's kind of that's hard enough. Sure. So yeah, I think radar was definitely the play for sure. I, I think radar, the radar ability was definitely like the way to go because it at least brought back in the aspect of like you can now walk around and do jumps and clamber and all this stuff not being on radar so you mm -hmm. have the ability to like do the flanks and catch people off guard 
like more so when they just had a regular radar and you're just crouching everywhere. Like it, I think it simultaneously like sped up the parts of the gameplay that needed to be sped up. So like everyone crouching everywhere, but it right. also like made you more aware of like when you sprint. So it made people not want to sprint yep. as often because now you're on radar. So like it did like, I think it was a good thing for Halo 5's like meta and everything. It, and like, and just for think... the pace, the pace mid game yeah. and it's just this, the pace overall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, it seems like it did make sense uh, just because of how fast these abilities come out. Um, <clears throat> so we have uh, Dusty Dog Mondu. Question for Trippy, a favorite teammate and favorite rival. Why not for also for Penguin? What the hell? Yeah, let's do that. Um, favorite <laughs> teammate. Pro- probably. Oh, God, this is hard. Uh, can I choose multiple? No. <laughs> There's too many, dude. I like There's too many. many. I like too many people. Go for I'm, it. A, I'm Go a nice for it. guy. Shout them out. I'm, I'm, on my top of the list. <laughs> Definitely everyone I was on Wreck with and Zane. So right. probably yeah, uh, Tommy. I was teaming with. I've teamed with him for like a year yeah, and a half. Yeah, you guys go back, right? Like that. You yeah, like definitely to Tommy. <laughs> definitely Tommy. Uh, I loved teaming with Ola. Man, that guy is so much fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's a snipe down as well, and then yeah, Zane. Zane's like one of my best friends. So yeah, definitely those four. Uh, your favorite rival before we go into oh, favorite <laughs> rival. Uh, I love playing Shotzi. Really. I, and we're really good friends too. I'd have to say Shotzi. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I love playing. I love the competition. He's you just like really how fast good. he is, or what? Yeah, like... I love playing him. He's really fun to play against. You have That's to sick. really try hard, yeah. obviously, to play him. But uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say Shotzi for sure. Uh, what about you, Penguin? Uh, I mean, favorite teammates-wise, Joey's definitely up there. He's probably like the best friend I've made, like Aww. teaming with. But uh, as far as like a whole team went, probably that. The one I went to first worlds with, a calm, swift kill and rain. Okay, that yeah. team, for some reason, we just got along super well. Our personalities just kind of clicked, and our gameplay and like the way we all played just clicked together. And we were just we were beasts, like straight up as a team. Like we definitely elevated every other player on the team. Like it was just a lot nice. of fun too. Nice uh, pun attempt, right but there. But there's literally <laughs> so so many teammates. Like I don't think I have a teammate I dislike as a person. That's the thing. Like I love everyone I've played with pretty much. Right. Uh, you and Rain especially seem to be pretty close. I mean, with the seven times better and the seven times worse thing, you guys go way back as well. Rain, been, we're. Uh, I mean, I think yeah, I started playing were... with Tim in H two A like towards the end. Like we started teaming then. Yeah, you guys were always friends even before Halo yeah. Five. Yeah. Yeah. During H two A, we got pretty good together, and then just started teaming in Halo Five, and he knew Contra, and that's how I got the end with that. So. Yeah. Uh, Twin Jinx, he says, uh, got a question of Trippy and Penguin always had the ability in H3 to perform at the standards of major tournaments in their own heads and, uh, their thoughts on bringing it to the tournaments. What, what? Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I was trying to, I'm super confused. Do I think I'm a sick beast? Oh, yes, I think I'm a sick beast. Perfect. Like, do I have the, do I have the, like, the, the tournament mentality? Like, yes. Oh, yes, we I mean, definitely I think, do. I think that was there for Halo 5, even before, like, I even went to a tournament, I think I had the tournament mentality, like, just to compete and, like, be good and do my own thing. I mean, Trippy, first game on Valhalla, 20 kills. I mean, oh, that's, yeah. like, tournament mentality from the get-go. <laughs> 20 kills is first game. So <laughs> kills, baby. There's no way. Dude, I was dude. literally a He's staff captain. I was a staff captain in Halo 3. People don't realize that. You can work staff. from... I grind. Jeez. I was a staff Bro. captain, literally. <laughs> a staff, level 25 in Halo 3. Wow. I was a five-star oh, general. I don't know. I don't know to tell you. Five-star general, dude. Oh, my gosh. A lot, a lot changed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, Callus, uh, question for Penguin and Trippy. Did... Uh, did they ever wait? No, that's the exact same question I just read. Uh, Nolatus says, uh, question for both of them Do you think going to H3 was a great idea, or do you think H5 was something you could have kept playing until infinite? Oh, this is hard. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I think, I think you could, they could have done either or, they could have probably done anything. Um, mm-hmm. I was, I was enjoying Halo 5. Uh, I knew, I think, I, a, I think a lot of people. Got tired of Halo Five though. Yeah, so I think I mean, it was good to so switch it up. But yeah. I don't know. I, I think know Halo Three is starting to fall off a little bit, so they yeah. might need to switch it up again. Whether that be Halo Five again, or H Two A, or H Two, or just like anything like maybe maybe Reach. What do you think of Reach? Oh, maybe a Reach event. Yeah, if Reach would that. Be, Reach would be really cool. I would enjoy that a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With the uh, I'm assuming the competitive settings like the no sprint, uh, no bloom, no yeah. bloom, no sprint. That would be that would be awesome. And the new on the new console too, just upgraded graphics. Yeah. That would be awesome. It's not 12. Yes. That would be uh, pretty. 
Dusty Dogmondu asks if you guys like Sprint, by the way, as well. I guess maybe it would be different depending on the Halo game. What do you guys think of uh, Sprint in Halo? Uh, um, I don't know. Really last question. Care. Yeah, I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. As long oh, as I can play with it, I can play with that. My, like, my thing is, like, mechanic wise, any I don't mind as long as the maps like are good. I'm mm-hmm. I'm a, I'm big on yeah. maps. That's okay. me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm super big on maps. Um, okay. as long as the mechanics it, mechanics can be whatever. Usually, yeah. As long as the maps are good, I'm usually chilling. Yeah. What do you think, Penguin? I mean, I don't care if it's in either way. Like, if they want to keep it. Go ahead. I think they probably will, just because that's the way three four three seem to be going. Halo four, Halo five. Sure. If they want to take it out, go ahead. Like, it, I don't think like anyone's going to be like better or worse at either of the two. Maybe people are, but like I don't notice it personally for me. So I really don't mind if it's in or out. Yeah. I guess it's just up to the the mass population on that one. Yeah, I, I think it can work, but it depends on how it's implemented into the game. Like uh, Halo Reach Sprint, I would say, is way worse than something like a Halo 5 Sprint that just kind of works better. It's more, I don't know, it just leads to other mechanics and nuances in the game that I thought made it interesting and exciting. So I think if, if they put it in and they kind of do it right and well-balanced, then it could work. But I think it would be a really great kind of creative initiative for them to try not to do it, especially to cater to the classic fans who you know have not wanted yeah. it for years. Um, and see if they can come up with something else unique uh, to to advance the game in some way. Um, yeah. But overall, that does cover all of our questions for the interview, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I know it was a bit of a scramble getting in Thank here. You. And I told you next <laughs> week, but I didn't tell you the specific day. Yeah, Trithi, no. I'm sorry about that, <laughs> no, man. It's all good. Uh, but it all, it all for, ended up working yeah. out. It did. I'm glad, I'm glad we came. I'm glad, um, guys, glad. Thank you for the invite. This is awesome. Yeah, no fun. It was a great chat. No problem. It was a great yeah. chat. Uh, no, hey, no, no fun. fun. It was no, no fun, fun at all. No fun, man. <laughs> no fun. Uh, so what can we expect from you guys in the near future before you head out? Uh, mini Taj, uh, just gaming. Mini Taj and lots of uh, lots of fours Ws. More, uh, lots of fours Ws. What a prediction. Okay. Yeah. Back more to you. Too. you more balking from Penguin. Uh, do you have a, <laughs> less bulking? Less bulking. Less, less, <laughs> less bulking. bulking. Less bulking, bro. Do you do you have like a body uh, goal trivia, like a celebrity or something that you like look at, or like an Insta model? Oh, I mean, kinda... yeah, uh... <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I'm kind of. honestly, just Thor of Halo. You know, <laughs> my goal, my goal weight was like 160, and I'm like around there, like 162 or maybe 161. So yeah, I'm trying to stay in that little that little range, and then just get lean. Nice. Basically about it. Get, get some lean muscle on there and yeah. Well, so I mean, about it. looks like it's working out so far, judging yeah. by the uh, flexing that we've been seeing. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> trophy flexing with the muscles. Just flexing yeah. Oh, man. It's flexing. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, there's more trophies and muscles to come in the near future, yeah. guys. Uh, thank you for joining me once again, and I'll, uh, I'll see you around, hopefully. Yeah. Sure. sure. Thank you, guys. And that'll close today's episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I know a lot of you were waiting in the chat for our grassroots giveaway. Type exclamation mark grassroots. You're entered into the giveaway. It's probably already been decided, though. Tony, what do we got? I'm going to bring up the Discord and wait here until we have our winner, our name. It is Hoffy90, H-O-F-F-E 90, with the win for the BR and nameplate giveaway. Thank you guys for tuning in for the giveaway. Remember, we have one every single week. So if you didn't get it, just come back next week. Enter yourself in the giveaway. It's a great show. You know, enjoy it. Hang out. Have a good time. Anyway, guys, that'll close the episode for today. Remember, we also have merch. Tony, you can throw up the merch. Anything you buy here supports the show. It supports me as well. And I always appreciate the support. So make sure to get that going. That will close our episode. Thank you guys so much for joining us. And we'll see you again next week.